hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you the difference between clipping layer and alpha lock in the app ibs paintex so these are the two things that many people get confused or sometimes they may not know how to use so here is the guidance and idea about how and why where you should use them so first of all I'm just creating a simple a first layer and applying a color black so something like a circle and I'm choosing a red color and going to show the difference between the clipping layer and alpha so for the clipping layer you can apply a clipping layer only when you have more than one layer so I just created a new layer and if I want this layer to be clipping layer I have to click the clipping option so now this layer is applied as a clipping you get the eye mark like that and whatever I draw only comes uh, visible on the areas uh, you know where the main uh, layer has an object so as you can see in the main layer I have the circle and now you can see when I click the clipping option the art uh, the lines are only visible on those uh, area and if you off the clipping option uh, the uh, stroke uh, above that are visible so the thing is the strokes are not close it is not like something like a uh, close one so when the, it is open and it, uh, when we you do this thing on the clipping layer uh, without uh, closing that if I use the bucket tool it will be applied to the entire layer so when it comes to clipping layer you have to uh, add any detail means you have to close those details like a circle or something like that. you can't create a C shape and you cannot apply the fill option so that's how the clipping layer works and if you don't want to keep that layer as clipping you can simply click the a clip a clipping option again it is super easy so then comes the alpha lock so for alpha lock it looks more or less similar to the clipping layer so now i just click on the alpha lock and whatever now i draw on that layer only visible to the uh, on the areas that have um, that already have artwork so here we have only a circle other those areas are transparent so if I draw anything on that layer after clicking on the alpha lock that will only be applied to the um, object or the artwork that we already have so you know it, now it looks uh, similar like for the clipping and alpha lock so you may feel like both looks easy as well as similar so um, what is the difference between these two why should uh, instead we can go for alpha lock or instead we can go for the clipping layer so you may think like this so for that sake i am going to give you a solid example of how where why we should use um, this clipping mask and alpha lock so where it looks uh, better with the alpha lock and where it goes better with the clipping layers. So I'm going to give a uh, good example so you may get the idea and you can understand better. So for that I'm just creating a butterfly uh, with the laser tool. So I'm just drawing the half shape of the butterfly and this is going to be a watercolor illustration. So I am uh, keeping the drawing paper rough three uh, canvas background and I'm going to use the watercolor brushes to create this butterfly so now I'm using watercolor edge brush and uh, since we uh, the you know symmetry I mean mirror ruler is on uh, but I just selected only half of the butterfly shape so the we can only apply the details to that so this is not basically not a watercolor tutorial video so i'm just keeping it simple and time lapsed so um 
so now you can see i just uh, using watercolor edge brush uh, to make it more watery kind of look i'm using watercolor water brush to wash it away and then to add some more texture color details i'm using watercolor bleed brush and for the strokes i'm using you know watercolor edge brush so uh, when it comes to my personal um, advice i prefer using the you know clipping layer more than that of alpha lock so whatever we're going to draw on the uh, layer with the alpha log it's going to be permanent we can't erase it if we erase it the entire artwork or uh, entire thing on that layer will get erased so please do um if you want to take any changes make any changes or use that same for example here butterfly so if you want to use that butterfly with the different color different details then don't go for the alpha lock so if you do the alpha lock you can only do uh, permanent details and if you want to erase them it is impossible and so um, if if you want to make such changes better go for clipping layer if you want to keep those things permanent and you you are sure that you will not make any changes then in that purpose use alpha lock so that's the thing so now i just created a beautiful simple watercolor butterfly i'm going to give the exact um idea about how to use the clipping layer as well as the you know alpha lock for that uh, i'm just duplicating this butterfly for this um one uh, i'm going to do the alpha lock thing with one butterfly and clipping layer with another butterfly so i just duplicated this now i'm going to work on this uh, with this uh, big butterfly since i'm going to use the alpha log i'm just duplicating it because i may mess it up so now with that butterfly layer i'm just clicking on the alpha log and i'm going to add some glitter details to that butterfly so only for the example so whatever brush you can try it out so here i'm using some glittery add brushes so if i want to if i do something without alpha log we can draw other than that butterfly area as well here you can you saw that right so now with the alpha log i can add only i can only add details on those areas which are have the artwork so here you can see i added some glitter details if you want to reduce or uh, remove details from that you can only use the undo option there is no other delete option uh, erase those particular thing we can't have we don't have any uh, such options only option to erase the newly added details after alpha log is by undo option so i just use the alpha of this uh, for this butterfly and this is how it looks so now i'm going to do the same details with the small butterflies i'm using the clipping layer for this so using the clipping layer i'm going to do the same thing and now we are in the clipping layer this is the clipping layer for that butterfly so i'm adding the same glittering details here if you don't want to uh, keep the details and want to erase you can just simply click the delete option or clear option it is very simple so now adding the glittering details all over there and if you want to change the blending mode of that clipping layer you can change so this is the uh, main thing for this if you want to make it as multiply 
uh, you want to keep those details as a multiply one or if you want to keep them as a glowing one you can go for the add blending mode so in that way you can change the different details but for the um, you know for the after locked layer we cannot add such details because whatever details we are adding it going to be go along with the um, uh, blending mode of that layer so here i added the details if we want to erase those details that we added in the clipping layer um, you can simply erase using this erase option but we cannot do that thing in the uh, alpha log because the artwork itself get erased so if you want to delete it completely you can just make it invisible or clear it um, you know you can do those things and if you do if you want to say do the same thing you cannot do with the alpha log because here you can see I reduced the opacity of the clipping layer and increased it it's your wish you can do that um, and when it comes to the alpha log layer if you are doing the details and reducing the opacity the entire artwork will be uh, made as invisible so it is not possible with the alpha log so this is the main de uh, details oriented difference between the alpha log and clipping layer and next comes the filling filling colors if I want to add any uh, colors or change the color of that butterfly uh, in the same alpha log layer it is not possible because we already have so many texture details on that alpha log layer so if I add any uh, fill option in that this is how it goes so you cannot do that in that layer so uh, the butterfly going to be in the same color so if you want to use the clipping layer then it is easy so now create a clipping layer and make that layer blending mode uh, of that layer as multiply and apply some orange color now the uh, color of the butterfly is changed to orange and if you want to keep that as blue I can change it simply so if you want to change something like up the butterfly this is how it looks with the add blending mode so you can do so many things with this clipping layer and changing it blending mode you can play along with that so it's very uh, interesting process when it comes to a clipping layer so basically clipping layer has more um, you know advantages uh, purpose the purpose of the clipping layer is high when it compares to the alpha lock so if you want to if you want to add any details i can add like this simply so now if i want the layer to be and uh, the butterfly to be a pinky one i can change like this so something like this a very simple one again i'm showing you with the different blending modes so why i'm showing all this thing to you is you may not know how to make uh, you, you may see in some artworks this is how my art I want I want such artwork I want to make such artwork so I don't know how to make that so you may think like this but uh, when I give such an idea uh, you may get um, to know okay this is how uh, they they are doing that artwork so to give you an idea so next undo process already i have uh, shown you so we want to add any details and then if i want to erase it delete it it is more easy when it comes to clipping layer and if it is a you know alpha log 
it is difficult we can only do with the undo option if i drawn something using alphalog and then moving out to the next layer and doing something else and then i want to re uh, remove the details that i have done using alphalog i have to click on the undo 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 so much of undos and we'll get uh, uh, removed of all those extra details that we have done after that so now also if i can come out of that file and go inside it and if you want to remove the details from the alpha lock layer it is not possible because the undo option is invisible but when it comes to clipping layer it will going to be there you can make it visible invisible everything is possible but with the alpha log there will not be an undo option available when you come out of that app and you are going to continue the artwork then so that's the difference so if you want to change the color opacity everything is easy with clipping layer and if i want to create something new butterfly something new with the same artwork i can just duplicate this simply like this i can position it wherever i want i can add the new details and create something new something different from the previous one and we can do so many things with the um like this with the clipping layer but if you are creating something big big artwork with uh, n number of layers and if you want to um, add details to that uh, layers using clipping layer and you are creating so many clipping layers for those original layers means the file going to be heavy and you may uh, go out of space so go out of memory in those case the app going to be hang and you may not able to continue the artwork in such case if you want to keep the number of layers less uh, in that time you can use alpha log because with the more number of layers it is difficult to draw in any app it uh, it not only mean the uh, ibs paintex but also in infinite may painter whatever the app may be if you are having n number 20 25 30 uh, number of layers and if you want to add some more clipping layers it's going to be heavy it is difficult for the uh, tablet to process them as well so in this case if you are uh, concerned about the space memory storage something like that you can uh, consider uh, more of the alpha log than the clipping layer so yeah this is the final look i just shown you the difference between the clipping layer and the alpha log and made these beautiful butterflies five different butterflies with the jazz one bit uh, basic butterfly i have drawn all these i have done using the clipping layer and the alpha log so i hope these details and the information are very useful for you uh, if you like this tutorial subscribe to my channel watch all of my videos and thank you for watching